All right. So I'm working on a uh, 2011 Volkswagen uh, Jetta, and it has the uh, CBU A uh, engine code. This is a five cylinder. So I have a check engine code, which is the uh, P2432 or the 9260, and that's for the secondary air injection uh, system. There's a fault with the, uh, this is the pressure sensor, the map sensor, whatever you want to call it, barometric sensor. And uh, what happens is, this is the, uh, it gives a false reading. And this sensor basically detects the pressure to see if it's working when the, uh, to see if the, the, uh, see down here, uh, down there is the uh, air pump, it's an electric air pump that pumps air to this valve which is opened up and goes into the exhaust and it heats up the catalytic converter when it's cold. It sounds like uh, if it's broken, like if the tube's broken or or the engine's not, you know, if it's quiet enough, you can hear the pump, you know, whirring. It sounds like a hair dryer almost. So, uh, this is the old part. Uh, this is a known problem. You, you uh, update with the new part. This part is, the uh, part number is listed here, so you can see it. Made in Germany. Of course. Anyway, new part is this guy right here. Okay, and uh, this is the whole kit. All right, so the the parts next to each other, they look completely different. This one's a lot smaller, this one's a lot bigger. So the bigger one is the old one. So this kit comes with um, a harness that plugs into the new sensor and connects the old pigtail on the, on, the, on the body or the engine wiring. It comes with these little clips that keep the hoses under control. And uh, and it comes complete with the new pipe. So all you have to do is access down here, pop the uh, old connector off. Uh, you can squeeze it, but a lot of times these are brittle and they don't squeeze anymore. So you can put a little screwdriver and pop the clips. Uh, the clips look like this, just so you know. Get the new one so you can see it better. Squeeze it like that on the side, and these little little guys will will spread apart and open up for you. But it doesn't work like that very well. But you can use something like a screwdriver or whatever to help you with that. When installing new the new pieces, I like to spray a little silicone onto the. Uh, the surfaces so they slide in easier that's what she said so just wanted to give you guys a heads up uh, if you have that code uh, why don't you go buy this uh, updated kit and install it and it, most of the time it fixes the problem I and mean, you won't have to go to the dealer and uh, have them charge you 150 an hour to uh, install that hose and diagnose it for you why not just throw it in yourself and see if it if the check engine light code comes back for that same problem because there's an update so might as well do it all right hope this helped you guys out uh, give me a like um, say something in the comments uh, click on the ads if you want to if, if you think this helped you out click an ad reload and click an ad that'll help me out a lot gives me a two cents or a penny every time so thanks a lot